초보이 허이 초보이 허이 초보이 허이 초보이 허이 초보이 허이 And these one of the issues from them was the posting of medical interns that the CS undertook to be done by next week. The other thing was, uh, was payment of fees for the postgraduate doctors and releasing them to school so that we can have specialists within our facilities. This has also been given a commitment that will be sorted within this month of January. The other issue is the employment of doctors. We have seen it and we have all experienced that our level five hospitals, level fours and level threes do not operate as per those particular levels that have been accredited. And this in the, is in the knowledge of the Council of Governors, in the knowledge of the ministry, and they've all undertook that they're going to employ healthcare workers, they're going to employ doctors to ensure that there is operation. And this is going to be within the next two months. We will also have the Article A of the Constitution that was ordered by the court to be implemented. That is on the basic salary, which then all the counties and all the government acknowledges this gap that they have not implemented. They acknowledge that this is a court order that if they don't implement, then we can actually proceed and cite them for contempt. And therefore, they have also undertook in our meeting that they can do it for within the next 60 days. I know it is painful for the doctors, having been ready to uh, undergo the industrial actions, and it's so painful for us for having waited for over five years for this to be done. But uh, we, as doctors and as a union, we are also cognizant of the need to have the services and for the need for Kenyans to have the services. So therefore, for that reason, we do not see 60 days to be so long. Having been having these discussions since uh, uh, the last three weeks and therefore we proceeded to suspend this particular industrial action based on that goodwill and at that point if it happens that the goodwill is not honored then when we proceed on industrial action it will not be the doctors it will be actually the government that contravenes their own discussions and that's why we have implored that after all the discussions these will be deposited in court as a consent and or, or as a consent order for the agreement that you had thank you Task Force reports of 2012, it indicates that the country should be employing 1,200 doctors per year. And if you look at the manifesto of the government of the day, I promised to employ 20,000 healthcare workers. And if you look into the country as it is, we have the doctor patient ratio of 1 to 17,000, uh, which at rest the recommendation is of 1 to 1,000 as per the WHO. So that tells you that the 5,000 doctors that we have in this country that are not employed, if they are all employed today, we still need about over 20 to 30,000 to actually reach the WHO recommendation. And therefore, we are in the process to really uh, look into it in our next collective bargaining agreement, a particular number of doctors being employed every year. We saw yesterday, and we've seen it in many agreements, that there's a particular number of uh, teachers being employed every year, there's a particular number of of, of soldiers, uh, that is the police force being employed and the armed forces being employed every year. If we really say healthcare then is a, an essential service that all of us need to look into, then the country must go in the direction of employing a particular number of healthcare workers annually because the population changes every year. Many uh, get frustrated in their hospitals is because you go to the hospital and you'll wait for 8 to 24 hours to see a doctor. And that happens because they have not been employed. So then if we have the numbers of doctors increased in the hospitals, then instead of waiting for eight hours, you will go to the hospital and have a waiting time of just three hours. If you are in a theta list that need to be done in the next six months, and then the county or those hospitals employ the surgeons. Instead of waiting for the next six months, you'll be just waiting for one month, and then you'll get a better outcome of the treatment rather than waiting for long. And also it will be cost effective for everyone. So therefore, the quality of service for healthcare goes hand in hand with the numbers, workload and the population based on and that's one of the things that the government contravenes within the CBA that just that this active CBA that we have ideally within 90 days to the expiry of the CBA there's need to be negotiation of the new one and we had sent out the a draft to all the governments but then there was a delay to take action and therefore this particular agreement that we're having with them also takes into framework but now we are going to start the negotiation of the new CBA, which then will cover 2021, 2025. And we are looking into that. This new CBA must really give the counties uh, an ultimatum in, a, in the form of agreement to actually employ a particular number of doctors 
every year because then that will ensure that the service, uh, the service provision, because the gaps are there, and therefore if there's a commitment to employ, then there will be budgets as a process to have it done. Thank you. Promotions was discussed into details, and we uh, expressed the frustrations and the suffering of the doctors within the counties, where we have many specialists in almost all the 40 counties that are specialists in the job that they do, but then in their remunerations and the pay, they are almost like interns or they are like junior doctors. And that has led to a lot of doctors leaving the country and leaving the uh, residing from the counties into other services. So for their retention purposes and as per the law and as per the schemes of services, we have discussed it and then they have promised also within the same 60 days to have any doctors who need to be promoted as consultants to actually be promoted to the right places within the counties because that is also part of the CBA. On the issues of salary delays and on the issues of non sector reductions, it's actually illegal. And it is sad that many counties still delay in paying the salaries for health workers and for workers within the counties. I can tell you that the most honest of the workers in the counties are the healthcare workers because they only base their livelihood on the salaries that they get. And therefore, when there's a delay within a month or two, they get into bewilderment of frustrations and they get into difficulties to pay the bills and to act. And therefore, in this meeting, we are having an agreement that the Council of Governors need to have a meeting within themselves and ensure that no county, no county goes beyond the fifth of every month before paying their workers. And this is something, it's part of our plans, and they say that they're going to do it within the next one month. And we expect that no county should delay in paying salaries from February 5th of every month to all the workers. And any of them that are also delaying in the statutory deductions or deducting the statutory deductions and are not remitting, that also illegal. And therefore, the same has to go within the 5th. The other issue is, is on the comprehensive medical cover. We know that NHIF is part and parcel of the government. But when there's a delay in payments from the counties or from the ministries, then they deny the services to the workers or to the healthcare workers to the point that many a times the doctors who offer the services can't at point afford the same services when they're denied the services by NHIF. In that, there was been a discussion with the NHIF to the point that there's no worker within the county, particularly the doctors and all other workers, who should be denied services by the comprehensive uh, NHIF covers if and when uh, the remittances have not been done. But and also we cited some of the counties like Bomet where for eternity we've not seen a change in having comprehensive cover. These are things that we're going to look into, as they promised within these two months, to see that they're done. The failure to do these things, which is a court order, is clearly a contempt of court. And therefore, as we go down into any, sanctioning any industrial actions, it will be at the failure of both the national and the county government. But they expressed goodwill, and that's why we gave the third olive branch to the dialogue. And it's a discussion that we want even the governors and everybody to actually undertake, because the complaint that governors give not to have employed workers, and not to be able to service, to have drugs in the hospitals, not to be able to pay the pending bills in campsites, is because of the, the, the budget that they have. And therefore, we have said and iterated now and again that creation of health service commission, which was one of the fundamental promises of the government to the health workers, that there will be negotiators between the county governments and the healthcare workers to have a centralized body. It is important because then that will ensure that the all government budgets for healthcare workers, for, for employment, for the promotions, and for ensuring that there's uh, the services within the counties. Then the counties now can look into the commodities and lower levels of the facilities. It's a discussion that we are still having, and actually we'll invite you for more uh, uh, details and discussion on it. But it is a way that will ensure more workers are employed. And you can see that it's only the centralized uh, professionals or the centralized uh, services that have annual plan on recruitment, as I said earlier, the police, the teachers, uh, and like that.